Today we're going to be talking about a mod in The Sims 4 that is going to add a whole bunch of religion gameplay to your game. So grab your Bible and stay tuned. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing Lumpano or Lumpanels. I'll put the name up here on the screen. This is the Rambunctious Religions mod and this mod actually introduces four sort of religions to the game. I'll talk about them in depth here in a second, but you know religion is a big part of a lot of people's lives and in a lot of countries the majority of people are religious. But I understand why the Sims team and EA have never really broached the topic in the Sims because it can be a sensitive topic, people can get offended easily, and you know, there are like thousands of religions in the world. It's hard to represent all of those in a game, but if you're looking for some sort of religious gameplay, I think this mod is a great one for you. So whenever you download the mod, you're going to go into buy mode and you're just going to search holy, and this is the book you want to get. The holy book. The book contains the wisdom of your sim's faith, no matter what faith they may be. Yeah, I love it. It's a great book. I already have the holy book out here because if any of you know my current household sim, Mizaki here, she is extremely religious and conservative and she was actually a preacher for a long time. She's not a preacher any longer, but the preacher career does come with this mod. Back to the book. Whenever a sim who is not part of a religion clicks on the book, they're going to have this option here to discover religion. So since Mizaki has already read the book and she's already chosen a religion to be a part of, she can just read the book. I think it might give her like a mood lit or something, but Mizaki's sister-in-law is going to take a gander at the book and see what's in there. So Mariah here, and no, I did not name her that. <laughs> I don't know. Die ich nicht. Uh, Mariah has discovered religion and she can now join a faith. Here's what she learned in the intro of the book. There are four religions, the congregation of non-believers, the cult of the cow plant, the worship of the watcher, and the treaders of the occult. She may join either of these or give up faith at any time by going to the religions menu and then the religion submenu within that. Now we can click on Mariah here and there is a religion menu. We can have her select a faith. So this is pretty much where you would begin. Uh, just a note here, children, and teenagers can only go so far with the mod. You really have to be an adult in order to experience all of the gameplay functions that it adds because my main sim here, Mizaki, discovered religion when she was a teenager and she couldn't do some of like the church functions and stuff. So we have four faiths here, the congregation of non-believers. They sort of believe in logic and science. We have the cult of the cow plant. They're sort of like the kumbaya, peaceful, very much like into nature kind of people. We have the Treaders of the Occult. These are the ones who believe in aliens, they worship vampires, as well as other occults. So that's a really interesting one if you have the Vampires game pack or what is it, Realm of Magic. I don't have either of those, but I might in the future. And this would be a cool one to sort of tie in with that kind of gameplay. Lastly, we have the Worship of the Watcher. This one is sort of what you would, I guess, consider the most traditional kind of religion. If we think of any religion that is monotheistic, like, you know, Christianity or Islam, Islam. That would be the most similar to the worship of the Watcher. These are basically just Sims who believe that they're being watched by someone up above. Technically, it's sort of us, the player, but they try to behave in a way that is very proper, very morally correct, because they want to appease their god. So I wouldn't call the first one a religion necessarily because it's a group of non-believers, right? But yeah, we have some really interesting ones. I love how creative the modder was in deciding these different faiths. Let's have Mariah here go with the congregation of non-believers. Now that she's discovered a religion, she's selected a faith, she can now go to the religion menu and she can attend some religious events. So she can go to a gathering. It is just a rabbit hole, so she'll just disappear off of the lot. And then she can also attend study groups and doing both of these things will improve your Sims religion skill. So the mod also adds a religion skill to the game. It's actually quite difficult to sort of increase your Sims religion skill. So since Mizaki is a bit higher in the religion skill, 
skills, she has a few other options available to her. She can attend gatherings, attend study groups, distribute pamphlets, get initiated, which she's already done. I'm not sure why it continues to show up. I guess she could get initiated into another religion, maybe. She can go preach her truth and she can work as a ceremony official. I can't speak a ton for the religion career that's in the game. I myself am not a big fan of rabbit hole jobs, so it's not something I really seek out. Mizaki here, I think she got up to like level seven or eight of the religion career, if I remember correctly. And naturally, you don't make a lot of money in the religion career, which makes sense. I mean, unless you're like a televangelist or something. But um, I will say that if you're looking for a challenging career in The Sims, one where you have to work hard and, you know, don't earn a lot of money, this would be a great one for you. But again, it is a rabbit hole job. There are two branches of the career. There is the religious official branch, and then there's like a religious writer or something. It's more like a writing oriented track. So a few other things that are available within the religions menu. Mizaki here can choose to pray. And this is actually a really interesting option. As you can see, this blue light sort of encircles her and you will see that her motives will increase. It probably takes less than a sim hour, less than a minute uh, for her to complete the prayer. And then there go the motives. They increase by about 30%. I believe. It's really helpful whenever your needs are low and you just need like a quick pick me up. You can just pray. So that's a really cool option. She can also pray for other sims. I don't really know what this does exactly. I think it might just increase your relationship with that sim, but you can pray for people who are alive and people who have passed. And then of course, as your religion skill increases, more things unlock. I think it might be a five level skill if I recall correctly. This one, for example, pray for everyone present, which I'm assuming it will increase everyone's needs by 30% is what I'm assuming that does, which if that's correct is super cool. Okay, so now let's talk a bit about social interactions. So I'm going to click on Mariah here while I'm in control of Mizaki. I'm going to go to the religion menu and there are several things I can do. So these are all social interactions. So she can argue about religion, ask for donations, chastise for unbefitting behavior, uh, discuss holy book teachings, express admiration over perfect behavior, praise the watcher, warn against what angers the watcher. Mariah here, who just joined the cult of non-believers or whatever it was, she has a few different options available to her. She can, of course, argue about religion. She can't do some of these things yet because she hasn't gone to a book study. So she can criticize lack of rational thinking, which is, you know, unique to her religion. Discuss the beauties of mathematics, disprove faith with science, mock church building design, try to find common ground, etc. So each faith has its own social interactions that are available, which is really cool. I love how much detail was put into this mod. If anyone is curious, no, uh, an adult cannot teach their toddler about religion, uh, which, you know, I would think is probably a good thing. Probably a bit too young to be doing any of that there. <laughs> but rest assured that whenever Amiko here, Mizaki's daughter, grows up, her mom will certainly be teaching her about the ways of the Watcher. I'm gonna give you all some tea that you didn't ask for. This is Mizaki's husband, okay? Uh, number one, not faithful, and number two, sort of into dudes as well. I have sort of incorporated this religion mod into my family story because Mizaki here, as I said, is extremely religious and she married a man who is part of her faith, actually. Marcus, her husband, is, as you can see, in the worship of the Watcher faith. She actually converted him into this faith, which is, again, another cool gameplay element. But uh, anyway, she's a religious lady. She married a man who is sort of leading a double life. So doing all of the things that Mizaki here would certainly frown upon as a very religious conservative lady. But uh, I think she's happy because she has another child on the way. She is pregnant. She does want a very big family, so I think she's happy about that. But whenever she finds out about her husband's indiscretions, she is going gonna want to sit down with him and they're gonna have a talk with the Lord. Okay, so what else do I have to tell you about the religion mod? So there are some other items that are available. There are like podiums and like a microphone and stuff. So this would be great if you want to build a church. Your sim could actually use the podium to give religious speeches at the church. There's also the microphone, which according to the mod developer is sort of the second best option. They put that in for people who don't have podiums in their game from city living or whatever. The podium would probably be your best 
best bet if you want to do like a church situation where you have a preacher and you know every Sunday or whatever the congregation comes to the church. So there are so many different cool plot lines you could have with this mod and that really appeals to someone like me who really enjoys story driven gameplay. So again, you got four different faiths, you got a whole host of social interactions that are unique to each faith. There's the religion career with two different branches, you got a couple objects with the holy book, the podium and the microphone. And then you have some of the rabbit hole features as well, uh, the religious events. So I would definitely recommend this mod to anyone if you want to add a fun new element to your gameplay i will leave the mod linked down below and yeah let me know if you have any questions down below again i'm not like an expert on this mod but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video